A busy schedule and working odd dead-end jobs could keep you from the necessary education to move on in life. Please welcome Dr. Michael Sandrusi. He's the president of the Craft Training Center of the Coastal Bend. Joining us now for this week's Invest in Your Future. Uh, this is a great opportunity, especially in the Coastal Bend. We can't stress this enough. This is the opportunities, ExxonMobil, the Harbor Bridge. There's so many things going on. There's a lot going on, and uh, if you come in and get some training, uh, you're going to land a good job. Okay, so what do people need to know? Because there's a registration deadline I know you want to hit. So uh, what, what's that big date? Well, we have three semesters in a year, uh, fall, spring, and summer. We're fixing to start our summer session, which is in May. And we're taking applications as we speak. They can register online, CRAFT, C-R-A-F-T, Training Center. We have scholarships, too, so that's a big thing. But one of the largest components is you have to pass a drug test to come to our training facility. Okay, and there are jobs that are just waiting for these students once they get out of school. Yes, sir, there are. Uh, these are all national credentials. There are certifications uh, that also lead to licensing because we have apprenticeship programs in electrical and plumbing. So it's very important that they maintain or receive some kind of credentials so that they can go to work. That's what they look at. And mm -hmm. these are national credentials on a national registry that can be accessed from all over the world, so, not just here. So if you maybe have to move, you can continue your work and what you, the skill, the craft that you've picked up. Oh yes, I mean, and, and they check. If I come to you and I say I'm a pipe fitter, they go online and they check to see what kind of credentials you have with they, this program. They know what's going on. What's uh, one of the biggest challenges maybe uh, students face uh, when it comes to finishing one of these programs and maybe landing that job? I think a lot of the times that, you know, when students are getting jobs, they have to be mobile. They, they can't just sit in one area. It's a working mobile force that goes around to build stuff, build plants, build structures. So they have to be mobile. They, you, ca they can't just stay here, but the Coastal Bend offers a lot of opportunities here. Yeah, and I was going to say, and you had mentioned, this is not just barbecues. We're talking about big commercial grade oh, structures. Oh, yeah, we don't do barbecue pits at the Craft Training <laughs> Center. We, it's all industrial welding. So we teach plate welding and we teach pipe welding. We have the information on the screen if you want to get involved. Uh, this is all about investing in your future, and there is a lot of opportunity um, as, uh, as we are hearing here. And I know you have one more thing you'd like to say. Do you want to take it away? Yes, I do. I, I want to wish my granddaughter, who turned five years old today, Emma, a real special birthday. Future welder, maybe? Uh, I think instrumentation person. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, hey, thank you for coming, and congratulations to her. Happy birthday. And uh, we really appreciate your input on this. Thank you so thank much. Thank you.